Let's go to Luke chapter 16, verse 19. If you have a Bible, please look at it. If you don't, you can read along with me. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. So, in essence, there was a rich man, I guess, that dressed very well. And from my understanding, he was not in lack. Like, in the expanded translation, in the expanded Bible here, I see the word luxury. So luxury is what? I believe luxury is more than enough. Like you have more than enough. Pretty much. If you can fare sumptuously every day, you have more than enough. If I am placing that correctly. Verse 20. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus. So there was a poor man named Lazarus, which laid at his gate. So at whose gate? I believe this is referring to the rich man's gate. So did the rich man see Lazarus there? Probably so. which was laid at his gate full of sore. So there was a rich man, I believe at the rich man's gate, and he was what? Full of sores. Okay. So I believe the rich man saw him, right? 22. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. So the rich man died and I believe this is referring to this verse is referring to that he went to hell and Lazarus went to Abraham's bosom verse 23 and in hell he lift up his eyes the the rich man right so the rich man and in hell he lift up his eyes being in torments. So, I guess according to this in hell, there will be more than one torment. So, I guess burning is not the only torment. Right? And in hell, he lift up his eyes being in torments. And seeth Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. 24. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. Okay. What if while you are on this earth now, what if someone was to put their finger in some water and place it to your tongue? Would that give you any relief? 
Like, wouldn't that kind of gross you out at the same time, too? Now, this is not saying, hey, have him place his finger in cold water. So, I think this is saying water in general. So, I'm guessing, even if Lazarus would have placed his finger in hot water, that may have gave him relief still. That he may dip the tip of his finger in, in water and cool my tongue. So, from my understanding, hell is so hot that someone placing their finger in water and placing it to your tongue may give you relief. That is shocking. For I am tormented in this flame. So imagine being burned, I guess, or on fire, I guess, and not being able to die, feeling the pain. Like, on earth, how long can you be on the fire until you die? I'm not sure. I guess it depends on... I don't know. Maybe not too long. I'm not sure. I guess it depends on certain things. But imagine being on fire for 20 minutes, let's say 20 minutes, how awful would that be? Seriously. I think in the Roman Empire, if I understand this correctly, I think in the Roman Empire, they would burn some Christians alive. And I don't think many of them stayed alive for very long when they were burnt alive. But imagine for an hour being burned. I think one time I may have burnt myself minorly. Or did I? I forget. I'm not sure. So, you may ask me, why did I read what I read? All right. So, ultimately, I guess one of the reasons the rich man went to hell because of what? Well, selfishness, right? I believe he was not willing to help the poor man with food. Like the rich man had so much in verse, was it verse one, where pretty much he had more than enough, but was not willing to share with Lazarus. What about us? Does this mean we should give everything we have to the first poor person we see? Huh? I don't think so. I believe this was saying too that Lazarus was willing to what? In verse 23. So that was verse 19 there. But in verse 21. 
Yeah. In verse 21, I believe it is talking about Lazarus desired crumbs. Like, he would have been okay with crumbs. Okay. Are there people asking you are there people in need asking you for help? I am not saying you should give them one million dollars. I am not saying you should give them a Mercedes Benz. But what I am saying, do something. So I'm thinking in this verse here, and it doesn't say it here, Lazarus, the rich man probably saw Lazarus at his gate for a long time and chose to do nothing. How easy would it have been for the rich man to give him something? Okay. You may say you have bills. You may say that you have kids and stuff like that. So are you telling me you don't have anything left over? You don't have one dollar. You don't have leftover ketchup or cookies or crackers or something like that. Are you telling me you don't have nothing? Now, how this passage is, excuse me, how this passage is, I believe the rich man went to hell because of selfishness. So, is it possible we can go to hell. Maybe this is one of the things here. So is it possible we can go to hell for being selfish as well? To where we have something to give, but we are so, I guess, greedy or selfish or cold-hearted to where we don't care if someone dies. We are still not willing to help someone outside of our family or inside. So if you are able to do something, I am not saying give exactly what a person is asking for. If you can see there is truly a need, I think there are some people out there that use people. They may say that they are going through this or going through that. And they may be lying. If you can see there is truly a need. And you find out that there is truly a need. But you still choose to turn your back against that. How bad would that be for you? Unless you believe that has no effect upon you. I believe the rich man saw Lazarus at his gate full of sores. So I believe the rich man saw the need, but still what? From my understanding, he did not do anything about it. As in trying to help Lazarus. 
And I think there are many people today who have more than enough and still may not be willing to help others. Maybe that is part of being selfish, being greedy, or whatever else. So my point in this, do something. I am not saying you have to pay all of the person's bills. I am not saying you should adopt that person. But do something. Let me stop here. God bless you.